everybody, this is Alchemist 2, and I'm back again with another book review. I just recently read Nevada Bar's The Rope, and this is the 17th book in the 21 book series that she's written thus far. I'm sure that she has um, released another book just currently. I'm not for sure on that, but this one takes the cake for... The Nevada Bar book. I mean, all of them have been absolutely tremendous, but this is probably the pinnacle of <laughs> what we never wanted to see Anna Pigeon go through. But the way she handles it and her ability to, to, um, to confront being faced with all these constant fears and just the the situation is very dire. <laughs> Let me just put it that way. I'm not going to go into what occurs but when she comes to who she is, where she is. She's in a locale that she's not familiar with and she's out of her element. However, she's not completely out of her element because she knows how to navigate a lot of different situations and her knowledge and her intellect her innovation her ability to think outside the box and on her feet really help her in this particular issue and she's just she is a phenomenal astronomically cosmically endowed intellectual being and that's what I like about these particular novels. And this one has a lot of humor. Of course, it offsets the the whole <laughs> the whole pickle, the jam that poor Anne is in at the very beginning. You think, oh Lord, holy cannoli! How is she gonna get out of this one? This one, you really fear for her, and it's a. Uh, kind of stressful for me it's not because I thought what's gonna happen next I kept reading and I just couldn't stop <laughs> I love Nevada Nevada is she's a tour de force and I'm glad I got into her it, it just brings to mind all the other trailblazers before her like I said I know broken record but she is nothing short of incredible and amazing and marvelous and if you haven't read her books, if you don't know about Nevada, she knows her stuff. She is an expert in the field, quite literally. And it just it lends more to the description of where she is. This one takes place in Arizona. And it's actually kind of volleys between Arizona and Utah because when Anna wakes up, she doesn't really know where she is. And you think, holy crap. Oh, what now? Ah! And it's just, it's so unnerving. And you feel just the mounting discomfort and unease that she has in the situation. However, she counteracts that. She continually relies upon her mental skills, her ability, and it helps her. And, of course, there is um, <clears throat> an unsub that is responsible for what is happening. I'm not going to say what because if I do, it's going to release a huge plot point, and I'd rather not. But as far as grading the book goes, I give it two thumbs way up, five stars yes down. It's nothing short of just surreal. And just you are trans fixed from from the immediate first page chapter one you are thinking how is she going to escape this this um <clears throat> absolutely what looks to be very mortal fatal nearly fatal <laughs> situation she she has something that happens to her um and you just, you got to shake your head and just, you're feeling for her, but you know that she's anything but a victim. And what I really 
enjoy is how she speaks to what potential women have and instead of relying upon the old cookie cutter pigeonholing pardon the pun of um a woman being weak and feeble and the only difference between men and women is the fact that um <clears throat> women are just less physically able to do what a man can. They just, they don't have the ability. We're, we're not built for that. And I'm okay with this. This, this doesn't bother me. Uh, in every other aspect, we are equal as equal can be. But she points that out and she makes no qualms about that. And in every book that she's, especially this one, this one, she makes that, one of her focuses, and or I should say folk I, I guess, <laughs> focal points. Um, I'm not really sure what else to say. There's quite a bit going on. Uh, it's December, I'm busy. Uh, I'm not going to be getting anything new for the apartment until January. Uh, this weekend... Well, tomorrow I'm going to a harp concert. Uh, this weekend I am going to be enjoying the cookie stroll at home and going to the Chinese Lantern Festival, which is something I've always wanted to do. I saw a commercial and I thought, since when have we started doing that and how long? And apparently it's been a tradition. I had never heard of this. I thought, what? And it's going on until the 7th. I guess the 7th is New Year, Chinese New Year. I'm not really sure when Chinese New Year actually happens in 2018, so don't quote me on that. I could probably be completely wrong, and I will admit to any ignorance I have based on other people's cultures. Um, I really don't have that much else to say uh, I just wanted to do a quick update. My other update is um, from the 23rd to 27th, I will not be in my apartment. I will be going to North Carolina. Um, I will be visiting my dad's side of the family. Hopefully I'll get to see my aunt as well just because I, I don't feel like she's doing well. I, I've known this since summer. We, we were supposed to meet each other and... Uh, there was a miscommunication, and of course I didn't get to see her, and since then I had heard absolutely nothing, and unfortunately my confirmation was proven true when I had started emailing my uncle again. My uncle and I uh, actually have made reparations, and we've made amends, and you know, all is well. Uh, <clears throat> long story, I don't want to get into it, but anyways, we still love each other very much, uh, thing is, my aunt told me, um, my, uh, my favorite aunt is not doing so well. I thought, I wanted to swear. I thought, I can't believe it. I'm right again. My intuition, my intuition scares me sometimes at how accurate it is. I wish I wasn't so accurate about some things. It just, it really, really frightens me, but. I just have, I have the worst feeling about this. I, I wish I didn't, but having been through cancer and knowing what it's like, I just, I have a feeling that that's what this is because nobody's saying anything. And I know if you cover something up, most likely it is the worst case scenario. And, ah, uh, why do you want to bet that I'm right again? <laughs> Ugh, I hate that. I really love that, but... Hopefully I can go a chance. I but the, the the hopefully I can get a chance to actually see her, and say hi. It might be for the last time. I hope not because I have dealt with death way too much, and it's still um, an idea that's fresh in my mind. I don't think about it that much, but. Uh, I'm a happy person. I want to think about more joyous things since it is that time of the year and I'm festive. And of course, um, I celebrate uh, Hanukkah. A lot of people say, well, you're not Jewish. I say, yeah, I am by proxy. <laughs> if you go to my 23andMe, it says, and I quote, you have family members who are Ashkenazi Jews. They're 
most likely in Argentina. Well, I did a little research and I did find there were a lot of um, my paternal side in Argentina. And I thought, well, I've always been fascinated by Argentina. So maybe that's why, but it's very unusual. And I know that's one reason why I want to go there other than just uh, learning the tango and <laughs> just looking at the Casa Rosada and having the best beef in the world. <laughs> Thank you, Dad, for, for mentioning that to me. I will always remember. Apparently, Daddy had taste memory, and that's where I get it from. Again, thanks, Dad. Um, <laughs> what else do I have to say uh, other than that? That'll be a very intriguing tr treat and a good trip. Um, keeping myself active. I haven't been super depressed as of late, which surprises me. I thought I would just because dealing with not having mom and dad around and Italian holidays is very difficult. But, um, you know, I it's a lot better. I, I hate to say that. It's just, it's, it sounds wrong. It's, it sounds kind of unfeeling and cold and a little sterile for me to say that. I mean, a little bit aloof. I'm not trying to be aloof, but, uh, yeah, it's a little bit easier this year to, to celebrate the holiday, even though I still miss mom and dad immensely. I miss everybody who died, who has died. Uh, I've, I've been sadly very familiarized with the uh, death, but, uh, I wanted this to be a happy video, so <clears throat> for those of you who have been watching me and know um, this is the content, uh, I, I do become very blunt and I do become very honest about how I feel, uh, and, and it would be <laughs> it, it would be wrong for me to say I am happy all the time during the holidays because I'm not. It's just. I, I'm sorry. I don't. I don't mean to be that way. Please don't think that I'm uh, stick in the mud because I'm not. I, I enjoy. I celebrate. I, you know, I party. <clears throat> I party the the right way. I I don't do any kind of. I don't do anything that would be untoward. I guess would be the right word to say, but. Like I said, this uh, this time of the year, it, it, uh, January, February as well. Uh, February is probably the most difficult. But I know that um, ma matters are improving. Um, I'm going to be looking into art, art school. I've got an idea for a company. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'm thinking social work. If I, if I got involved in social work, if I got a degree in social work, I probably would know how to do this and have people to back me. I would do a Kickstarter and go fund me. Uh, I don't know. It's, I, I want to be the founder of, well, I, I would be the founder of the company, but I wouldn't want it, all the attention coming back to me just because it's not about that. The whole crux of the company I want to create is um, <clears throat> to help other people realize their potential and follow their, their, follow their dreams. And even though other people have told them, no, you can't do that, baby. Don't listen to that crap. I mean, what do they know? They don't know what you're capable of. Only you do. And you got to assert yourself and, and realize your worth. And you can do this. And sometimes reaching a goal might take your whole entire life. But isn't that what it's all about? That That's what I feel what the meaning of life truly is, is finding out what your purpose what purpose, whatever that means, uh, <laughs> figuring out what you're supposed to do with yourself or helping other people, uh, making the world a better place. Um, <clears throat> healing. I think, I think, uh, you know, my sign is the shaman. If <laughs> you're into astrology, like I am, I mean, it's just a, a pastime for me, but I looked into my native American, um, astrology and I am a shaman I thought well go figure uh, that's why I've always been fascinated by um, herbs and natural healing and crystals and I feel like eh, woo woo stuff uh look into um 
frequencies. And then you'll see that frequency is not woo-woo. It's science. <laughs> science proves frequencies work and have. I mean, look at TENS devices. That works on frequencies. Hello. Anyways, um, Tesla was right. But <laughs> my boy Tesla. Woo. -hoo. Anyway, he should have gotten more credit. But um, maybe someday he will. Maybe he will get the recognition he deserves. No, no offense against Edison. Edison was wonderful. But anyway, Tesla should have gotten the credit. Uh, <laughs> but that's all I got to say. And until next time, I'll keep you updated, let you know what's going on. There will be photos from the Lantern Festival. I'm super excited. I'm um, hoping to have a little bit of Chinese food, too, so, to celebrate. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be... Be very authentic with this. Uh, hmm, yeah, I'll be celebrating Hanukkah this year again. I don't have a dreidel. I wish I did. I don't know where to get I, Maybe I could get one on Judaica. 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 I had a menorah. I lost my menorah. I'm mad. I really didn't want to lose that menorah, but somebody bought it. I thought, uh, and when I saw it on the table, I'm like, no, my menorah. And like, can't get my menorah back, but I will. I, I can't afford one right now, but I, I want another one just because I I don't, I feel very attached to, I, I'm, I know people will be like, you're not Jewish. I said, by proxy, just, just let me have that, please. Because <laughs> I know that I, I mean, in my blood, I, I feel like I am and ugh, whatever. <laughs> I don't know why I feel that way. I just do. I mean, I really, I associate with the, the people. I mean, I got an Israeli flag for gosh sakes and Palestinian people. I'm close to Palestinian people too. I mean, why, why, why do they have to have a con? There's no, well, actually I read something that they, they say, and this is just an aside, but a lot of the people that are in um, the Holy Land right now, they say that uh, the conflict isn't what you think it is. It's a lot better than what they portray in the media. And what, I mean, anything really is because the media is so liberal. And <laughs> believe it from the mouths of the people. Believe it, believe it from what they say. Don't believe what the media depicts to you because they're probably just putting their spin on whatever they interpret. So... <laughs> yeah um gonna get a dreidel at some point gonna get a menorah at some point gotta get a hanukkah bush <laughs> actually gonna get a hanukkah bush that's what uh we had jewish friends so <laughs> i love that i just i think it's the the cutest thing ever hanukkah bush <laughs> Uh, I'm going to get one from my friend. She's uh, my supervisor. God love her. Her boyfriend, She uh, he works at a factory, so they get excess. And I'm getting a Hanukkah bush tomorrow. Yay! And I'm going to put it up. And I'm going to actually have light in my house. Finally. Because my original Christmas tree was sold in the auction. All my ornaments. Um... I had a, my favorite ornament, which I hated to get rid of. My only ornament that I have left is my TARDIS, which I won't hang on the trees just for decoration. But <clears throat> one of my favorite ornaments, it was a, a beautiful egg that played Silent Night. Uh, it was one of a kind, but I guess whoever has it now, are, they're going to be blessed by it. Uh, that's all i got to say. So until next time, live long prosper. Tootsie.